One of the things that I believe that we, we got to really look at, there are three components of economics that we need to pay attention to. Number one is land. We mentioned land. They talked about giving us 40 acres and a mule. <clears throat> the mule symbolically today is the muscle, the workforce. We have to begin again to develop a workforce and make working and competition chic and in vogue. Too often when we raise our little boys now, we raise them to be soft and we tell them oh, we don't geez. want them to work hard. Geez. We should tell them that we want them to work hard because they are gonna rule the world, they're gonna dominate the world on their own land. So you start with them, all right? 40 acres and a mute. You need a little cash to go match to liquidate your land. When the Mexicans come over here, oftentimes some people say they don't go into business, they say we don't have no money, but money ain't the issue. Right. They have the will and the muscle right. to go to a roof 10 deep and take the shingles off the house and the will to put them back on and do a good job and ask you who your people are so they can come and build their customer base. This here church is like the Kaaba of a new thought paradigm to where when we come to, we already have black farmers in the audience. That's what they came for because they want to do something for themselves. But we have to pool our resources together to market the idea. We already have a food program. That's why we're here. And we want people here to sign up for our food program. And I'm going to be honest about it. Stop telling the little brother who you think is a thug and a gangster that he don't have no place in the movement. He has a legitimate place in the movement. Too often the person who is conceived or perceived as the militant one is pushed out by us, but they not pushing, they Darren Wilson's out. They're welcoming theirs in. So when a brother, you know, the way you train fighters, you don't train fighters to love the opponent. Business is about competition. We're in competition with the Arabs, we're in competition with the Asians, we're in competition and we got more of a legitimate right to run these businesses in our community than they do. And we just gotta do like Sister Ava Muhammad said, stop this soft talk and speak straight up direct. We don't want you in our community. So we are gonna set you up in the community, in business. And we're doing this definitively, unapologetically and that's the way we have to do it now because we don't have time to waste another generation. I'm going to say this and close it. Someone asked me, they said, uh, your sons, they, they have black names, Zayad and uh, Kadeem. Aren't you concerned about them uh, getting a job? I said, I'm not raising my children to get, get job. a job. My children are being raised to run business and give somebody a job. Thank you, brother.